Hi everyone, I'm Subhashri and uh, welcome to Serious Tech Saturdays. Today we are going to be covering the topic uh, on full stack .NET trends in healthcare and we have with us uh, Amot Karve who heads .NET practice at Satyas Tech and he'll be taking you through the topic in detail. Just one thing before he starts, uh, the chat feature has been disabled as of now, but uh, the last 15-20 minutes once Amod is done with his presentation, it will be enabled again for you all to put up your questions or any queries that you have for Amod to answer you guys. Okay, fine. over to you Amod. Thank you so much. Yeah, good afternoon everyone. I'm Amod Karvik and I'm really glad that all of you are here today. I have been with CTS Tech for almost 12 years and my overall industry experience is about 16 years. So I lead .NET practice in CTS Tech. And for today's presentation, uh, what I will be doing first, I will be taking you through latest healthcare technology trends, followed by what we do at CTS Tech to adhere to those trends. Uh, then I will be covering certain aspects of being a full stack engineer. You know, a lot of you might be having that question where you know the, I know something about .NET and I want to be become a full stack engineer. So I'll be talking about that guided learning path in the full stack engineering space. Okay. Being said that, I will be sharing my screen. Thanks. Uh, yeah. So we already spoke about myself and you can reach out to me on LinkedIn and I don't mind answering to your questions on LinkedIn as well. I'm, I'm pretty easy to find on LinkedIn. OK, uh, this is the agenda which I already spoken to you about. We will we'll reserve last uh, 15, 20 minutes for Q&A session where I will try to answer most of your questions. In case uh, time doesn't permit us, you can always reach out to us. Uh, for the e email ID provided, or I can uh, re you can reach out to me on LinkedIn for any further queries. Okay. So to going to the .NET trends, or or rather, I would call them as a healthcare industry trends. You know, so in the last couple of years, right, when we were uh, hit by uh, this COVID situation, right, we realized that a lot of our customers, right, they want to change their overall landscape of technology. And why they wanted to do it is basically this five trends which we observe. You know, they have uh, been really substantial in changing the overall landscape of development, overall landscape of expectation from the engineers. You know, uh, you all of you must have already heard about you know digital transformation, right? I mean, what exactly is this? I mean, people are doing their businesses. It's not new, but they want to migrate to the latest and greatest trends and technologies. OK, virtual care, you know, remote patient monitoring, uh, all these things, right? They were present in healthcare industry, but they were not at a large scale. You know, and that is now becoming a reality. Uh, all of you must have read about, you know, people are running simulations to, you know, decide whether the vaccine is effective or not, you know. Uh, now, if you ask me a few years back, these things would have taken months to come to these conclusions, right? With today's trends with AI and ML, right? People are arriving to those decisions within days. That is overall digital transformation is pushing this industry, you know, and that has indirectly put, uh, I would not call it as a pressure, but that has indirectly demanded all the developers know to bring their a game now now as everybody wants to scale up right uh, microservices is becoming a de facto standard rather it has already become a de facto standard now as the microservices are coming to picture adoption to cloud and devops has become inevitable there are expectations from dotnet developers right that they must be aware of cloud and devops they may not be an expert but awareness to cloud and DevOps technology is definitely something which is in demand. The third trend which we saw, you know, in last couple of years is Internet of Things. All of you must be aware, and, and some of you might be already using certain variable devices, right? I mean, uh, Google Fit or Apple Watch or Fitbit and all that stuff, right? Now people have started using that data. Okay, medical devices are becoming more and more smarter. We are coming across, uh, you know, use cases where these devices themselves tell, okay, I am due for a maintenance. 
so those type of interesting use cases are coming in and adoption to iot in uh, healthcare is very large okay uh, predictive maintenance is one of the use cases for medical devices bed, bed management you know uh, we see lot of hospitals right they are registering their made uh, beds in cloud uh, so people are aware that you know how many beds are free and accordingly they can register themselves to that particular hospital so all these complex use cases are rising you know so healthcare industry is uh, where you know you are actually dealing with the patient data which is very uh, important for a patient and it has to be secure now every country across the world has their norms and you have to comply with their standards while dealing with this data now as the complex use cases are rising you know we are moving toward microservice based architecture different services are communicating to each other the whole aspect of security is becoming pivotal now you know how do you implement securities you know how that can be become a security first approach for the development you know uh, the things like open policy agents they are coming in picture where people are treating security as a code and that is where you know the full stack engineers are expected to know end to end applications so that they can implement this type of features in their applications last but not the least data science and uh, this has been around for quite some time honestly but the insights based on the data and improving the patient care based on those insights is something we have seen emerging in last couple of years very heavily you know ai powered healthcare then uh, early disease detection uh, training you know printers you know to do 3d modeling from lot of imaging data this is becoming reality nowadays you know that i mean there are 3d printers available which will print a, a model of a heart for you or an artery which will enable doctors to the diagnosis beforehand and they can even show the patients you know what they are going to operate upon so these are certain industry trends which are uh, vastly emerging in the industry and obviously to keep up with this trends right at cts state we have a dedicated dot net engineering practice okay so for at what we do as part of a dot net engineering practice okay so if you see at the center of this practice right is domain so we are very domain centric in cts tech okay so various domains we deal with we deal with lot of medical technologies we deal with lot of hospitals their compliances we deal with lot of pharmaceutical companies uh, we deal with lot of insur healthcare insurance companies right and all these companies are currently we are dividing them into three buckets okay so our traditional product engineering which we do where we do our day to day development you know architectures and technology consulting that's a traditional business which we are doing application modernization is something we have started to experience for last couple of years now people are going from monoliths to microservices they definitely so it's along with technology it's a journey that they have to do and we are helping them in doing that okay platform modernization you have seen people have decided to move away from their traditional web development technology the adoption to angular react and vue js has increased a lot you know now to adopt to that right the underlying architecture has to be changed and that is where this whole modernization aspect is improving very very uh, largely now to support all of this right i mean obviously none of them is going to stop their business in the days time right so they have to keep supporting their uh, older applications so what trend we see nowadays right the engineers are expected to have a flavor of old and new technologies as well right so don't worry if you are not you know if you are working in asp.net and you know you want to go to angular so it's not going to die in, in you know one day's time okay there would be a step by step processes will happen so there the sustenance engineering aspect will come into picture okay where we are currently in a mode where the developers are expected to know the older technologies so that they can migrate to the newer technologies okay 
Now to achieve all of this, right? The center of you know, if you see the last line of this slide, you know, the capability development is where CTS Tech is investing a lot. You know, we encourage our engineers to participate in you know technology councils. We ask them to write uh, CPDs, which would be you know point of view documents for, and we publish them across uh, the company. We have a fairly large knowledge portal. And we have a fairly large university portal where all the trainings reside for you can become a full stack engineer and there are different courses and all and I will be talking about that in my subsequent slides. OK. Uh, to deal with all of this, right? I mean, at CTS Tech, we maintain a concept called as technology radar. Now, what does this mean is we have divided our technologies into four buckets. And in every bucket at every quarter, what we do is to analyze what is the trends in market, which technology is upcoming trend, which may disrupt in future and which technology is healthcare adopting. Now, if you may see, you know, blockchain has been a, a talk of the town for quite some time, but the adoption in healthcare and especially with the CTS tech customer is not there. So it may not appear here as you know one of the primary technology. But likewise, right? I mean, the buckets which we have created is UI languages and framework because we see a tremendous growth as UI engineers. Uh, so Angular and React and Vue.js are currently the top three languages where we deal with. Uh, especially Angular and React is, is, uh, is majorly uh, what we do. With view catching up, I think the market share of view is catching up fairly, fairly large. OK, uh, we rely and if you see here, right? I mean, this is not very specific to .NET. This is a generic technology landscape that we follow at, at CTS Tech. In middle tier, C Sharp and Java holds their place. You know, uh, we see a good competition by Python, uh, not from the data science perspective, but Python as a web development framework. OK. We also started to see a trend for Golang and uh, those type of languages coming into picture and we will see as and when they will come and we will keep updating this radar accordingly. OK, now all of you might have heard about microservices for quite a long. Now we see a trend for a lot of our customers. They want to adopt to micro front end, you know, where different teams are developing different applications in different UI frameworks. So it, it's not, uh, uh, you know, it's not a taboo now to, you know, have multiple teams working in multiple languages at multiple zones in the world. Uh, world. Similarly, databases, we see a good adoption to NoSQL databases. Our, our traditional databases still hold strong. Uh, I mean, SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL. I mean, there is no change as such in terms of CTS tech landscape as of now. Tools and techniques is, is, a, is a fairly long list. OK, now if you guys see the current set of development is moving towards a lot of dependency on libraries and frameworks and uh, different tools. OK, adoption to Kafka, adoption to Docker, adoption to uh, Kubernetes, all these tools which we are currently using, right? We are expected to know that in terms of full stack engineering. OK, uh, moving on to the next slide, folks, which I will talk about the guided learning path for the .NET engineers. OK, so all of you must be wondering, right? I mean, there are so many technologies, so many things are coming out. How how should I keep up with that? OK. So what at CTS Tech we have done is we have created a guided learning for for each of our developers and you can personalize it and uh, you can uh, you know follow it at the at the pace you want to follow it. OK, so we have various trainings imparted. We have started with a training called as impact where you know we uh, rely on a model called as hire train and deploy where we are hiring folks, then we are training them in full stack and then we are deploying them rather than they are directly doing project based training. Similarly, for folks who are internal, what we are doing, we have launched specializations program, OK, where people can learn various technologies and become full stack engineers. 
okay now if you see the the buckets which i have created here right is is basically the base base here is dotnet okay and we at cts tech we emphasize on strong fundamentals okay so whatever fundamental you have right like be it oops solid principles understanding of c sharp asp.net it has to be very strong okay and you you can't uh, skip practicing those areas you know just because you have to learn new areas okay ui is something which has taken a lot of importance now and if you see i have separated out asp.net uh, from the ui because that is now has become a default standard if you are a dotnet engineer okay i have seen that a lot of people are not having enough emphasis on css and html of the world and obviously javascript and they want to learn angular so that is where you know you have to master your basics okay now traditionally a person knowing dotnet and ui you know we used to call that person as a full stack engineer gone are those days you know now we are treating these engineers as a dotnet ui engineers okay the top three buckets which you see are microservices devops and cloud obviously you can uh, interchange these buckets you can be a dotnet microservice engineer you can be a dotnet cloud engineer you can be a dotnet devops engineer right but in order to become a full stack engineer right you have to achieve all these four buckets okay now my advice to all of you right is basically you have you can't deviate from the fundamentals okay you have to master your basic knowledge you you uh, for learning microservices right if you are not aware of solid principles i would not recommend you to go and learn microservices at all okay adoption to change okay in indian industry i have seen that traditionally right we are uh, we stereotype ourselves okay though i am a dot net engineer so i would not learn any other thing so that those days are not there anymore okay you have to uh, be fairly open to adopt to newer technologies you have to be uh, fairly open to switch between the frameworks okay and that that's what the industry will be going forward okay rapid development when i say rapid development learning various frameworks which eases your development relying on library right i mean relying on uh, things like docker things like kubernetes relying on various frameworks which eases your development okay you will see those trends coming in over the future and transform rapidly okay so whenever you are learning new things right the technologies are are changing very rapidly so what at cts tech we suggest is basically you identify a shortest distance okay so you know c sharp so identify what is the next technology you can learn fairly quickly uh, i might go for dot net core okay because it's it's not that different but if i am not aware then i would go for dot net core now i would not go for angular if i don't know javascript i would not go for react if i don't know javascript okay so before moving on to any technologies right please make sure that your basics are clear and then only you 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 know rapidly move on to the new technologies okay uh, so going on to the next slide guys is basically how we achieve it in cts tech okay so i will be spending few minutes on that and then i will open up the forum for the question and answers so at cts tech right if you see we have a dedicated uh, learning program okay we have guided learning paths already created we have labs we have assignments and we have a mentoring model where people are being helped to achieve their full stack dreams okay now this is just a pictorial representation of certain courses but if you see on the right hand side there are various courses various flavors available we have a very robust training model which allows our internal employees or the new employees you know to adopt to the latest technology trends the and and deliver faster okay so these are some of the modules which we have in terms of ui development in terms of adoption to cloud peripherals and all that stuff okay uh being said that folks you know uh, 
the way industry has changed in last couple of years. The definition of full stack itself has changed. And I assume that over the next year or so, right, it will keep changing. I mean, you, you might be witnessing that, you know, Angular is releasing a version after every six months, right? Now to keep up with that pace, right? You, you have to uh, work along, you know, what is the technology trends coming in? You know, what you should be learning for adapting to the future. And definitely at CTS Tech, we help you do that along with, um, you know, our programs, along with our uh, leadership and along with our .NET dedicated practices at CTS Tech. 